Helen Twelvetrees, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, leaves an enduring impact with her work that resonates beyond the silver screen. When considering her contributions, one might reflect on a particular moment from her extensive filmography that stands out, evoking a sense of lasting significance. This prompts the question, is there a specific scene or performance that has left an indelible mark on your cinematic experience? In comparing Twelvetrees to her contemporaries, it becomes apparent that she possessed a unique quality that set her apart. Her ability to infuse authenticity into her roles and convey genuine emotion distinguished her from others of her era. In your view, what attributes or aspects make Helen Twelvetrees stand out among her peers in classic Hollywood? As we delve into the legacy of this classic Hollywood actor, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Helen Twelvetrees in the comments below. Your stories contribute to a collective appreciation of her impact on cinema and the lives of those who admire her work. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your insights on the enduring influence of Helen Twelvetrees and how she has left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey. In the golden age of Hollywood, amidst the glitz and glamour, emerged a talent that left an indelible mark on the silver screen. Helen Twelvetrees, a name not often echoed in contemporary discussions, but one that resonates with the seasoned cinephile who appreciates the subtleties of classic cinema. Born in Brooklyn, New York, Twelvetrees embarked on her acting journey with a determination that mirrored the resilience of the era. Her early years in the industry were marked by a string of successes with a repertoire that spanned silent films to the advent of talkies. Adept at portraying a range of characters, she effortlessly transitioned from ingenue to femme fatale, leaving audiences captivated by her versatility. Helen's breakout moment came with the 1932 film Millie, where she delivered a nuanced performance that showcased her ability to navigate the complexities of human emotion. The role not only solidified her status as a leading lady, but also hinted at the depth of her craft. Beyond the celluloid glamour, Twelvetrees was a force to be reckoned with, shaping her characters with an authenticity that transcended the constraints of the script. Despite facing challenges in her personal life, Helen Twelvetrees maintained a magnetic presence on screen. Her collaborations with renowned directors and actors of her time underscored her ability to seamlessly integrate into the bustling world of Hollywood, leaving an enduring impact on the cinematic landscape. While her name might not be as frequently uttered as some of her contemporaries, Twelvetree's legacy lives on through the characters she brought to life. Her contribution to the cinematic realm goes beyond the accolades and awards embodying the spirit of an era that laid the foundation for the film industry we know today. In the tapestry of Hollywood's history, Helen Twelvetrees remains a hidden gem, waiting to be rediscovered by cinephiles eager to explore the depths of classic cinema. Her story is a testament to the resilience of those who paved the way for future generations of actors and storytellers. So, the next time you find yourself immersed in the magic of early Hollywood, take a moment to appreciate the subtle brilliance of Helen Twelvetrees, an unsung heroine of the silver screen forever etched in the annals of cinema. Helen Twelvetrees, a multifaceted talent, initially found her way into the limelight through an unexpected avenue. Notably, a portrait painted by George Bradshaw Crandall, featured on the cover of the Saturday Evening Post, marked the inception of her career. At that time, she was a student at New York's Art Student League, immersed in studies ranging from music to painting and drama. Contrary to the glitz of Hollywood, the conclusion of Twelvetree's journey is marked by a quiet resting place in the Middletown Cemetery near Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Her cremated remains find solace in this location, accompanied by a simple marble plaque in Section D of the new cemetery bearing her name and essential dates. This serene burial site stands as a testament to her life beyond the silver screen. Amidst her cinematic accomplishments, an interesting tidbit emerges about her first screen role. This particular role required her to lisp, and following the movie's release, rumors circulated that she had a serious speech impediment. In essence, Helen Twelvetree's story extends beyond the celluloid glamour, encompassing the diverse facets of her life, from unexpected beginnings to a quiet farewell. These lesser-known details add depth to the narrative of an actress who left a lasting imprint on classic cinema. Amidst Helen Twelvetree's cinematic journey, her personal life also found its way into the public eye. A notable incident in 1936 captured headlines, shedding light on her tumultuous second marriage with Frank Woody. 
already estranged, an altercation unfolded when Helen was dining with a male friend. Frank Woody, passing by, instigated a fight, leaving the companion with two black eyes and making front page news. This incident, though a glimpse into her personal struggles, contrasts with her professional achievements. One such noteworthy role was her portrayal of Blanche Du Bois in a streetcar named Desire at Sea Cliff, Long Island, in August 1951, one of her last appearances on the silver screen. Adding a layer to her personal life, Helen's marriage to Clark Twelvetrees ended in 1930. During their divorce trial, she accused him of alcoholism and physical abuse, providing a glimpse into the challenges she faced beyond the glitz of Hollywood. These incidents, while overshadowed would by her on-screen legacy, contribute to the intricate narrative of Helen Twelvetrees, showcasing the complexities of her life both in and out of the spotlight. Her story, marked by personal struggles and professional triumphs, remains a compelling chapter in the annals of classic cinema, offering a nuanced perspective on the actress's journey. In 1919, tragedy struck Helen Twelvetree's family as her younger brother lost his life in a house fire. This early personal loss cast a shadow over her formative years. At the age of 18, she took a significant step in her personal life by eloping with fellow student Clark Twelvetree. This union marked the beginning of her journey into adulthood, intertwining her life with the man who would become her first husband. Despite the challenges in her personal life, Helen's professional career continued to evolve. In 1951, she made a return to the stage in a production of A Streetcar Named Desire. Her portrayal of Blanche Du Bois showcased her enduring talent and marked one of her final appearances on the silver screen. Helen Twelvetree's life was marked by both personal hardships and professional accomplishments. From the tragic loss of her brother to her elopement at a young age, and later a triumphant return to the stage, her story weaves together the complexities of a life lived beyond the spotlight. In 1929, Helen Twelvetrees earned recognition as a Wampa's Baby Star, a prestigious title in the entertainment industry. This marked the beginning of her journey in the spotlight. However, not every step in her career was met with success. In 1941, she took the Broadway stage in the show Boudoir, but it faced an unfortunate fate, closing after only 11 performances. Struggling with the setback and facing the harsh realities of a fading career, Helen turned to alcohol as a coping mechanism. The challenges in her personal life added another layer to her story. Her first husband, Clark Twelvetrees, battled with despair and alcoholism. In a shocking turn of events, he attempted suicide by hurling himself out of a seventh floor window. Tabloids sensationalized the incident, accusing Helen of foul play. Only when Clark regained consciousness did the truth emerge, clearing Helen of the accusations. These tumultuous moments in Helen Twelvetree's life reveal the highs and lows that accompanied her journey in the entertainment world. From the glimmer of being a Wampa's baby star to the struggles on Broadway and the personal hardships with a troubled spouse, her story reflects the complexities that many actors face behind the scenes. Helen Twelvetree's life is a narrative of resilience, navigating through the challenges of fame and personal tribulations.